हेलो एवरी वन आई हैव प्रथमेश विद मी प्रथमेश हैज बीन अ जी सॉक पार्टिसिपेंट इन टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन विद एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कॉल्ड सेल्यूलॉइड सो ही वर्क मेजरली ऑन रूबी सो आई वुड लाइक टू आस्क प्रथमेश हाउ वॉज योर एक्सपीरियंस अबाउट जी सॉक टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन वेल माई एक्सपीरियंस विद जी सॉक हैज बीन ट्रिमेंडिस एंड इट इट हैज प्रोवाइड मी विद एक्सेलेंट लर्निंग ऑपरचुनिटी सो बेसिकली द I I got to learn a lot about reading a uh, large code bases and uh, that that was a basic that was basically the primary goal of GSOC so um besides that um I I you I got to interact with lots of people um the uh, my my mentor for example was a former VC of Goldman Sachs I came to know about it a few weeks ago and uh, Uh, those are the people those are the types of people you don't get to uh, talk to or get directly mentored by unless you are uh, a huge shot yeah so uh, you participated with celluloid so what are the advantages you see being of being involved with open source community or doing pro- google summer of code or google code in okay uh, so uh, the first advantage i would say would be uh, you get to learn a lot about coding by seeing others how they go how they uh, themselves code and uh, since these are large organizations the code bases are in uh, are, are huge so you you don't get that opportunity if you're an individual developer if you're working with a large organization you get to read a a huge code base so that's that's a pretty huge advantage uh, which i can see and besides that you get to uh, learn about dealing with other pe- with people from other cultures and uh, who are working in different time zones Th- that those are those are people skills which you don't get to learn uh, working as an individual developer and uh, lastly uh, the projects uh, that you work on during google summer of code have a huge uh, they they have uh, those projects have huge exposure they are used by millions of people across the globe so uh, it you you feel important working on projects that people actually use so that that's a huge advantage you feel good inside yeah, that's good so uh, what would be your advice to the students who are doing computer science or to the software developers like um, many of the students i see get stuck how to start with the projects how to do projects so uh, what would be to your advice to them so my advice to them would be uh, actually be passionate about something find find their passion in a particular technology and uh, beyond that i would recommend them to be persistent be patient because uh, things are not built in one night they usually take weeks or months um, so if they're patient uh, they'll f- eventually find their calling and uh, definitely <laughs> uh they'll do good in software development i th- this is a case in any field if you see so one last question so can you elaborate more on the technologies like ruby you said you have worked on ruby and what are the trends you see emerging in ruby uh the trends actually uh i i work with ruby 1.8 all the way across to ruby 2.2 which is the latest and uh with every increment of ruby um there have been huge performance gains so uh, the trend would be a uh, performance would be a major uh, major uh, performance will play a major role in fi- in finally taking uh, technology forward and beyond that uh, there's a te- the technology that i personally will focus on in th- the rest of 2016 and in 2017 would be elixir because uh, it's compared to ruby it it's faster than ruby and it's it's been uh, in use since the 90s and it it will be used in the future also so thank you prathmesh for joining us have a nice day and all the best for your future uh, products you are going to build for the uh, world thank you, thank you.